take a good look at those fibers. It's real crisp and clear, isn't that correct? Right, I'm just kidding. All right, so. A mysterious human being, and I'm going to let this human being be, be, be mysterious. She's saying things like uh, there, there's a potential that exes and people in the past and all these persons and uh, what else? I'm going to say me reposition myself. All right. Yeah, people in the past. Exes, you know, could be ex-friends, romantic in, uh, persons and all that stuff. By the way, this is a random video. Um, what else? Just anything you don't want to resurface or stuff that you might want to resurface, you might get to see that again. And I'm thinking, hmm, well, that sounds like a certain someone where my heart was broken and all that stuff. And I don't want that person around anymore. I definitely am not trying to see that person ever again. I'll do whatever I can to make sure I don't see her ever again, ever again. So I've discovered something about this person. Um, and I did a little bit of stalking too. And they're like, oh, stalkers usually don't out themselves so i'm gonna stop well i'm gonna out myself only because i had to do it so i went and did a background check on the person online turns out you know she's not who she says she is and yeah so her friend i'm gonna just try to keep this as short as possible let's just say her friend knows that she's not ex-military and all that stuff that other person that because he's ex-military that's the only reason why she said she was so it turns out she psychologically is probably fragmented, but we were the only ones that discovered she doesn't have her own sense of self. She doesn't have her own personality. She doesn't know who she is. So she's basically taking other people's stories in because she doesn't have a story of her own. And I'm thinking, well, with a person like that, why in the fuck would you want that to return? I mean, that's sweetheart. That's like the Kraken that comes up out of the ground that causes problems and you have to go in and slay the dragon. That's the Leviathan. That's that's the uh what it, the, the Loch Ness monster. Things you just don't want around, you know. It's like, oh, we gotta go and slay these things. Take take the sword and slice it into pieces and all that stuff. These river monsters. Okay, why would you want these to come back? You don't. You don't. So I'm not trying to see these people again. Or this one person again. I'm not I'm not interested. So Yeah, there's that. I'm just I'm just thinking, you know, if I could just get a third thing to replace that situation, I don't have to go back to that place anymore and just leave that in the past. Okay, because that has to be historical. That person is there. That person doesn't have sense enough to, you know try to do better with herself, you know, she, or at least that's how she's behaving, and I'm thinking, well, I don't want anything to do with her, so, at this point, I'm very close to saying I'm just about 100% over this person, because it took several days to flush away these kind of emotions for her you know what i mean for that person i'm done so I, I don't want i don't want anything to do with that person anymore she lied about her history apparently she never like something she said happened it never happened okay and her friend is saying well you know what she's doing that to feel sorry for herself i'm thinking that's not your friend then if your friend does that and she, she lies about you too uh remember that person b i was talking about Person B was never the culprit. It was person A the entire time. Person A was never innocent. Never. Never, ever innocent. So I got to take back the stuff from before. It was person A the entire time. So this time, you know what? I'm not taking shit back, you know? And if it turns out they're both culprits, I'm thinking, well, why would you both be culprits? But no, it seems like person B is telling a lot of the truth because person A... um, there's backup stories coming from other people saying, you know, person A is a fucking nut job, you know? So I think, you know what? Well, if this person that's functioning like an oracle, she's saying, you know what? This means that, uh, you know, these people come back because this particular situation is arising, is coming. Oh, there's something coming in a couple of days that will cause some people to return. Well, guess what? My number's on block. Um, I'm not interested in her finding me. I don't want her. No, okay, listen, I stalked her. If she dares stalk me, I'm not going to be scared that she stalked me, but I'm just going to tell her, listen, you may have found, found a way to find me. Guess what? I don't want anything to do with you. 
Okay. So I'm glad that you reached out. I'm glad that you found, found a way to find me. Guess what? I don't want anything to do with you. I hope you heard my words. I'm finished with you. So it may have turned out some people may have rejected you, neglected you, have figured out that there's something just going haywire up here with you. Sweetheart, I'm not your best bet. And I told this person, I hope you deleted my number, blocked it because I did that to you and I better be dead to you because you are dead to me. That's it. That's it. So this Oracle that's saying these things, person, you better be wrong in this situation because I'm going to say this to this person again. I am finished. I'm finished. I ain't going to say, oh, this person come back. Like, what the fuck has she come back for? The walls are closing in on her. We reveal what needed to be real. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? And I'm supposed to be working on short stories, poetry, and all that other stuff. Now for that part two of that poetry that I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm going to put part one in the description. Like I was supposed to do in the previous video. I'm going to put that one in this description this time. All right. I'm going to put that one in this description this time, okay? That story, I'm just going to put that up there. Take a look at it. Take a look at it. Part two is coming, all right? Part two is coming. Because person B and I, we had a long talk about what is wrong with person A. Person A has lied about a bunch of it, and she's a cheater. She cheats. She cheats. And I'm thinking, person... If I'm supposed to be your Valentine, right? Why are you trying to get back with person B? <laughs> person B is sitting there making comments. I don't want that person. She says she don't want anything to do with you. Now you're trying to get with all these dudes, right? The dudes don't even want her. The dudes don't want her. The dudes have figured out something's wrong with her. One dude kicked her out of his apartment. Now, now he's trying to figure out how to get his keys back. He doesn't want her. And I told him, be careful because she might try to blackmail you. He says she's supposed to be in the night. He asked me, oh, are you coming to the shift tonight? I'm like, dude, if she's on the schedule, first of all, I'm not on the schedule. If she's on the schedule, I'm not showing up. I would show up for extra bread. I don't have a problem with getting extra bread. But guess what? If she's there, I got to stay away because I might curse her the fuck out if I see her. I just might. I might strangle her. So no, I'm staying as far away from that person. I see you and you've wronged me and some other people that I know. I don't want, I don't want anything to do with you. And I might say some things. I'm, I'm avoiding this person. And, this, and then she's probably going to try to cook up some other story. And she's going to say, oh, such and such person be this person be that person be said this. And person B isn't lying about a lot of stuff she said. Come on. You made that up. You made all that up. That is all you. Okay. That is all you. All right. That is all you, sweetheart. Oh, by the way, I'm not naming any names. I'm just saying. That person saying, you know what? And no, this isn't tarot cards either. Sometimes they, you know, but this person is saying, you know, you can see these people again. Listen, I remember asking the universe, universe, make me see this person again. Universe did, right? Guess what? Was she, with, with this, per, this oracle person is saying could very well be true. This time without me even asking for anything, right? The person could pop back up. Why? Because the person may decide she want or need something. There, there's another person I have interest in. There is another person that I have interest in. It's at this new job that I found. So I have three jobs now. Okay. The second job where person, person A is at, I could just cut that job loose. I don't have to worry about person A ever again. And how will she even pop back up? I have a way to stay gone. I have a way to be a ghost to other people. I have a way. And if I have connection to person B, Person A will have connection with me because of person B. They were, they knew each other before I did. They were together for a brief period of time. Person B said that person A asked her if they could do their thing again. So apparently they never got around to it because person B is like, yeah, I don't want you. <laughs> you know, you know she, she doesn't like that person. I'm thinking person B, you do still talk about person A every now and then. So you do, you do still care about that person. You know, the fact that y'all did something together She's a part of you now. Come on, think about that. That's an emotional connection that you started. That's why you talk about this person a lot. And you say this person isn't shit anymore because she's not much of a friend. So, you know, it's funny. It's, it's weird. An ain't shit kind of a person is how she's been behaving. 
she was supposed to do something for person B, like help person B, you know, find, find a, uh, you know, a place to say, so person B could get the hell out of the, you know, the shelter. Cause some people are in the shelter, you know, working at job. That says a lot about some people that are homeless though. If you could be in the shelter, you could be clean and then work a job. That means that many other homeless people don't care to, to help themselves. Some of them are trying to do better. Some of them don't know how to get information. Some of them I have helped. The others, they don't, you know, I'm thinking, well, if they're trying to do that, what's your story? Could be mental illness. So that's understandable. And then the others are just junkies. So I'm thinking junkies, what's your story? You're just junkies. And then you got the other ones. They, they, they legitimately don't care. But it's like different types of homeless people. It's like so many different types. Some just don't give a fuck about themselves. They want you to do everything for them. I remember years ago when I read articles, some people intentionally become homeless so they don't have to pay taxes. They, they, they rack up about 50 some thousand a year. You do realize 50 some thousand a year, that's closer to 60,000 a year, that's startup PhD psychologists, okay, people with psychology degrees, okay, that's, that's, that's their entry level income. That's really something. They come out of college. That's that's what they're making coming out. PhD if they have a PhD. That's crazy, right? That's that's homeless people. I remember reading that article a long time ago. I guess a lot a lot of people are starting to figure that out more and more. They they avoid homeless people like the plague. They assume they're all the same. Some of them legitimately need help, and then others, well, they don't. You can tell, especially if a guy was cutting his wrist. I'm like, dude, if you're trying to kill yourself, how 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 is me giving you money to buy drugs helping you? Seriously, you look and smell like a junkie. You snort like a junkie because they all do that sniffling thing that they do. You know, like like their nose is always running because the coke or whatever that was just tore the lining in their nose. So I, I don't know. It, it does something. You know, it, apparently, you know, this, this little divider between the nostrils, cocaine destroys that. It actually destroys it. If you snort that shit enough, it destroys it. So I don't know that much about drugs, but I remember reading an article about that. It fucking destroys that. So... That's some crazy stuff. It actually destroys that. Um, yeah. Person A, man. And, it's, and apparently she might be doing all that shit. And person B was saying something about her smoking pills. Because she, you know, she caught her doing something. Um, she's getting it. So I'm thinking person A, when she says she's off her medication and then she tells person B that she's going back to therapy, she doesn't, she didn't tell me nothing. She didn't tell me a thing about therapy, but she told the other person about therapy, but she told me that she's off her meds. Person B was like, well, she didn't tell me anything about off medication and that, and that she, uh, she's falling back into a depression. She just said she was going to therapy. Well, they all sound similar. They all sound like they would have something to do with each other. But I'm thinking if if she's if 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 that's important that she's saying giving different details, although they sound like they would go together, then I'm not gonna say that we have to jump the gun and that oh her being off her meds is the same thing as her smoking the pills. You know, I'm not gonna say that. You know, you said you caught her doing that. So at one point in time or another. Why the hell did I just get a text? So I'm looking at my actual phone. The phone that I'm using to record this video is actually, um, it was actually a free phone. <laughs> I just let the service end on it. <sighs> looking at this other phone. They said, I don't know how they get my number. My wife said, yes, so my online workshop is happening right now. Here's the link to learn how to get your own event space. Okay. If I don't have anything to have an event space yet, don't come to me, dude. They send they send you texts and messages about shit you don't have anything prepared for. Oh, would you be interested in doing this? Sure, if I had something for it. <laughs> something actually has to be readily made for that. Like, I get you're excited you had stuff for it and all that. But, sir, I'm not in that position. What do I have an event space for? How, how to write a book? I, I could just do YouTube channel on that. I could do a, I could make this whole YouTube channel, how to write a book right now without outlining, just write the book. You don't even have to outline. I do that easily. I write a book. I don't have to outline anything. And seriously, yeah, I could do an event space for that. And it's really, you, you, you get, get a space and then you have a, uh, what is that? It's like, is it, you know, um, a bunch of chairs 
is basically a seminar. An event space is basically a seminar. You sit there, you have a talk, you know, you could be telling people about real estate, you could be telling people about a bunch of anything. But let's say for me, it would be about how to write a book or how to something else or how easy it is to get a job and you have certain coworkers like at that same job I said I could replace I should be replacing it overnight because I found this third job overnight that I'm working you know <laughs> I'll be working three jobs this week okay three okay there, there, there's a shift that I'm working for each of them throughout the week okay but or at least one one day so far the the other two the other one is two days out of the week and the other one is like all the rest of the week pretty much so that one of them is like nine to five and then the other one you just got squeeze ins here and there so but uh why is not as hard to find a job as people say it is it, it does take a little bit of time for some 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 if if you go on craigslist most people probably don't know about craigslist um there's a lot of legit stuff on there and there might be some fake shit on there too but at least in the jobs department, not so much. All you got to do is go for an interview. So those are usually more on a truthful side than fucking apartments that you find. So I found a couple back to back full of shit. And then I found another one on there. It was legit. Out of the three, one was legit. The other two was trash. Mm. So you just got, excuse me, you just got to do your research on some of these things. But yeah. I find stuff overnight. Um, you know, you go to career link, career builder, indeed. LinkedIn, all these play Glassdoor. Glassdoor has some shit on it too. I've seen that. It has some bullshit on there. So even Career Builder could have scams on it. Like no site is really safe, really. Monster.com. But 99, I will say 90% of the time, this stuff is safe. 90 to almost 99%. More like 96, maybe 95, maybe 98% of the time it's safe. But yeah, you know, most of the stuff on there is not all that bad. You want me to do, you want me to do a, uh, event space for that? Why people, why, you know, why, why are some people so lousy at giving advice and why you shouldn't be taking bad advice? Sure. I can make this video about that too. Why you shouldn't take everybody's advice when they say, Oh, it ain't like jobs growing trees. Like that one person, like, dude, first of all, you can't even help your damn self a lot of the time. That's what it sounds like. You can't, but you want to give me advice. I don't think so. You always complaining about people talking trash about you on the job and you're saying, Oh, I got people after me and blah, 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 this and blah, blah, blah. Tina, you shouldn't be quitting this. Sweetheart. I was trying to, you know how many times I tried walking away from that and they keep trying to keep me from quitting the job. Even the big boss was keeping me from quitting. the job. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. That, that's how you know what kind of power you have at just finding something else when a particular, although the big boss, she meant well, everybody else, I'm thinking, they, they, they just need company. Some of them, did, they need a friend or they need company or whatever. One of, and, and another person, she means well too, but she's trying to quit herself or she wants to quit herself. People keep, you know, fucking talking shit to her. Um, other people, uh, yeah. The, the fake ass person, a person, she, she don't seem like she care, but on another hand, she will pretend to care. Like, dude, she's, she's fake. She's fake. But, but the other person, she's going to sit there and say, oh, jobs don't grow on trees. Shit, I could do a whole seminar about how your ass is wrong on that one. You know how much shit I find, sweetheart? You just not looking. That's what it is. So, And it might be that it's, it's, it's all within your skill uh, set. Sweetheart, you, you either are A, lazy as fuck, or B, speaking based off your skill set. You don't even know what my skill set is, okay? I don't even talk about myself that much. And you talking to me as if you fucking know how great I am at a bunch of stuff. Okay. A lot of these people, listen, they don't care to ask about what, what it is you do in your spare time. Good. Cause I can't wait for you to say something wrong so that you can look like a fool in the end. I can't wait for you to say something wrong. They don't know any, they don't know any better. I'm glad you don't ask me what I do in my spare time. I could keep that a secret. That way I could, I, I could ghost that place. You don't even know what happened. Where was sweetheart? If I'm 25, where the fuck was I before I got that job? Come on. Did that ever occur to you? I guess you must've thought I just got out of college or something. No, I didn't just get out of college. Okay. Well, I left college in 2015, sweetheart. And I started that job that you're at last year, July. All right. It's not even a whole year. I was there and I can't wait to get the fuck away from that place. Too much shit has happened in a short period of time. That's why drama. Go ahead and ask, say what you <laughs> sweetheart is you. That's got a skill set problem. 
Trust me, I wouldn't know where to go if, if I need to build some skills, if I don't have certain skills, right? Oh, they're looking for this. They're looking for that. I know exactly where to go for that. All you got to do is type it in Google. Where would you go for these skills? They tell you. It would tell you. They would have online courses. You could go to a physical setting. Your ass is lazy. That's what it is. Well, wait a minute. She's 54. Why is a 54-year-old giving a 25-year-old advice? When it comes to skill set stuff, it's, 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 it's hard. The only thing a 54-year-old can do is give romance advice. You can't give... You, because some people understand the digital era better than older people. Although she understands it to a degree, I'm thinking, how the hell do you not know this? Come on, dude. I'm younger than you. So it might be that I understand some things better than you do. My research ability is better than yours. No offense. I'm not interested in talking about this. I'm better than you shit. I don't talk like that. I don't think I'm better than anybody. I don't. But you make it sound like you can't do fucking research. It's basic ass shit. It's, it's called type it in Google. How do I do this? How do I do that? I need to fit this pipe in here a certain way. You probably could learn plumbing on YouTube or Google or something like that. And it depends on who's teaching it well. Sometimes they'll sit there and tell us, oh, once upon a time, they started things like the sweetheart. Just tell me how to fucking do it. You know, just, to, you know, we don't need to do all that. <laughs> Some people learn a certain way. So just tell me what the first step, first step, please. First step, I want to get right to it. I don't care about the history of that. Okay, we could do that after the fact. We could talk about why certain things look a certain way in the history stuff after. Okay, work first, questions later. All right, that's it. <laughs> Jeez. So anyway, yeah, I, 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 you know, I'll be honest with you. I have done stuff like that a lot of the time. Sometimes I'll do the questions first and then some other times I'll, I'll do it anyway. I'll do it any kind of way. It all depends on the mood. If I want that later is later. If I want it now is now. That's it. But anyway, yeah, I, don't, I could do a seminar on that if you want to about why some people don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> giving you advice and then they're busy complaining about people complaining about them or saying things about them. Don't worry about me and what it is I'm doing. Tell them, so I'm glad you didn't leave because sweetheart, what it is you need this with when it's convenient for you, you want to call me to ask me to come pick me up to help you do something. And then the bosses are ripping on you for taking too damn long at something. When clearly it ain't your fault. You don't have the people. You don't have the people. What can they do? They should have sent more people, right? But you're getting in trouble for certain things. I mean, I don't know. I understand her situation. I think other people are taking time to not understand the situation. Like they understand on the one hand and at the other time. Now it's, it's because you were, you got on their nerves. That's why they do that. I'm going to tell you why they switch up like that. You got on their last fucking nerves. <laughs> You can tell because they sitting there calling you stupid and all that. That's what they're saying. They're calling you a dumbass, a jackass, or everything they could think of to call you. They don't like you. We could do a seminar on that. What happens when you're not liked? What happens when somebody doesn't like you? Well, you, you move on. You know, she's talking about finding something else and all this and all that. Right, so don't tell me not to go and look for something. Guess what? I did find something else. <laughs> Don't tell me what they're doing. You're trying to do the same thing. They, they're hoping they can leave you behind because they don't want to feel like they're being left behind. Sweetheart, we're not in competition with each other. I'm not competing with you. If you're afraid that I'm I'm getting something that you're not getting, sweetheart, it's called, it's called do research. People are trying to compete with me. Like, what is it with competition? It's That's what it sounds like sometimes. Or you know, they're doing that quietly. I don't know. I'm not trying to compete with you. At least that's, that's how you talk. I hope you're not trying to compete or anything. Like, I hope you don't think about me a lot of the times. I'm not thinking about you every single day. But now that we're on the topic, now that we're on the topic, you popped up. And I'm thinking, these people are worried about people competing with them. People are saying things and they think that they're not competing with you. They have something to say. They, they, they're just making comments about you doing this, you doing it. They're not competing with you. They're just making comments. And you don't know how to handle it. And it's making you feel a certain way. So you feel like you're in competition because they're saying you're doing this or you're doing that. They're telling you to improve. That's what it is. They're telling you to improve and you treat it as competition. It's called, if you can't handle that, you should go somewhere else. You're 54 and you're bitter. And if somebody's making a comments about you saying you don't want to be with somebody, that's person B again. <laughs> person B has something to say about a lot of people that's there. 
Um, sweetheart, you're bitter because of you. Okay, you're bitter because of you. You are bitter because of yourself. All right. Okay, you don't have anybody. Nobody's looking forward to you when, when you go home. It's just you. And you're lonely. Okay, that's why you behave the way you do. And I get tired of people like you. I do. When you act a certain way, I do get sick and tired of people like you. Okay, I really do. I really, I get tired of people like you. I'm not always happy to see you. A lot of times when I see that person on the schedule, I'm thinking, okay, what 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 kind of crybaby shit am I gonna get out of this person today? A lot of days she's cool, she doesn't say much. Other days, some people make remarks, she she's all pissy about it the whole day. Oh, they say this, they say that. I got some enemies, I got this. Sweetheart, just because you think you have enemies and then you can't wait to talk to these people again and you you he heating with them again, you don't have enemies. You came as you came and stay on top of that shit. Because you switch up too much. You can't even stay on top of that. So I don't believe you when you say you have enemies. But I, but I catch you cackling with them sometimes. It's it's on a day that it hurts your feelings. Oh, I got enemies. But sweetheart, you still there? You got enemies, you better act like you have enemies. Should I do a seminar on that too? If you have enemies, what do you do? Act like you have them. It's because you're not there anymore. You don't plot against them, you just leave. So that you don't have them anymore. The best way to make enemies disappear is to make sure you disappear from the scene. That's the best way to do it a lot of the times. So I'm thinking, well, if they're going to be like that, all I got to do is just not be there. And then they'll just be at war with themselves. And you can sit back, you can sneak in the bushes, be like, are they in there crying? Because they don't have, they don't have uh, a situation where they can be all warfaring anymore. They sit there. And now, and now they got somebody else to get drama, dr dramatic with. And like, okay, so that's how it turned out. I'll just go back to what I was doing. Go in there, sneak in the bushes for about a good few minutes, whatever going about your business and that's that that is that you don't have to worry about shites but yeah <laughs> I really said you can sit in the bushes see how you know upset they are oh that person ain't around anymore so now, so now they got a bone to pick with somebody else that they didn't have a bone to pick with before. <laughs> they just have somebody else to do that with. They, they're miserable. You go back, sneak in the bushes, to get, get yourself about a 15, 30 minutes. What's going on over there? So how they doing without me? They crying about something. <laughs> I'm going about my business. So let's say somebody that, that, that I used to know, they say, oh, oh, they were talking about you that one day. They were, they were wondering why you ain't showing up. And I'm like, oh yeah, I bet they are. If there's something that we were supposed to be working on as a group and they talk about some, how come that person just left like that or this or that or what happened and how come so-and-so's not showing up and blah, blah, blah. I bet they would be saying that. I bet they would. And I'm not concerned. I did sneak back in there for a half hour to see, you know, how many tears, <laughs> how many tears are going to be had. And then after that, that's it. I ain't looking for you no more. I'm not, you're not, you're not even all that interesting of a person to me because all it was was drama. I don't, I don't understand how people find drama interesting. I, I don't, I don't, unless I was in love with somebody and then there was so much drama, like that person, a situation, you know, turns out she's not who she says she is. So, you know, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. I mean, other than that, I don't, I don't care. Kind of like how in public you see people's, you know, drama and all that stuff. They, they, they talking about their kids and they're talking about some female and the female sold their wallet. I'm thinking, dude, if, if you, if you had sex with her and she's able to steal your wallet, it's probably because you had sex with her and she has access to the house. You know, dicks do that. Did you know a penis could, could, could have a woman steal your keys because your penis was in her life? That's what penises do. Okay, shove your penis in anything. That thing is latched onto you because you shoved it in there. Just, just do that. You know that's that's what they do. Okay, they keep the chicks coming back. <laughs> Cert certain women, you know, if she's a security seeking kind of female, out of a dude, 
because dudes make it easy for them to do that. I'm not going to say they all do it, but you know, I'm not going to say they all do it, but that's what happens. Don't, don't shove it in there. Know, know what you're sticking. Okay. Please know what you're sticking because if you don't, that's why they do what they do. Cause you don't know, you don't know who you're sticking that shit into. That's what wieners do. Get themselves into trouble. It's either chewed off by something, cut off by a crazy bitch, or his wallet is stolen and he has to go to the court and fight for custody. And sometimes he gets shot for that. So try, try to have the fewest sex as possible with some of these crazy fucking females. Okay. So yeah, I'm thinking why we need to hear this story in real life, you know, or out in public on the bus. This guy is talking about chick steals his wallet. You know, she's not raising the kid well. And I'm thinking, well, why, why aren't you getting custody of the kid? Sounds like the most she's going to do is try to take your wallet. I don't think she's going to kill you and all that stuff. She's not, she doesn't care about the kid. She doesn't care about the kid. You have a case. Has it ever been the case that she, uh, you know, try to use the kids against you? I, we didn't hear that. So I'm thinking, well, he has a case then, you know, he, he could get the child and he's almost like, Oh, I, I want pussy, man. Cause I'm so angry at that woman. Oh, I want this so bad. The fact that you want that so bad and you probably don't care about the person's personality. Another, that, that woman that you get pussy with again, with another female, she's going to steal your wallet too. Listen to how you talk. You're going to re be repeating the same thing over and over again. Think about it. You're going to be, just think about it. You're going to be repeating that all. Oh. <laughs> think about that one. Think about that one. You're going to be repeating that again. There's a lot of this going on in the world. And I was speaking with a new coworker, you know, she and I made the comment, you know, it seems like more and more people are smoking weed anymore in this life. Yeah. Like I, she, she's like, I bet you half the world is on weed or something. Or I, I, that might not have been her words exactly, but yeah, it does seem like a good chunk of the United States, at least, is, is you know, weed smokers. I'm thinking, you know, if you got to do that, you're pitiful. You know, if you have to smoke weed, something is wrong with you. That's pitiful. No offense. Even, even if you happen to be one of my viewers and you and you see this video and I say you, you're smoking weed, I'm sorry. No offense, but, you know, that is pretty pitiful. You shouldn't need that to feel good about yourself. Same coworker, she asked me, so what so 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 what do you do? Do you smoke weed? Do you drink? Do you like nope? Nope. Just video games, writing, poetry, videos like this, and in other videos where I've done videos of video games that I've played and all that stuff. Right now I'm just doing a rant. Hoping that the Oracle is wrong, that that Oracle kind of person is wrong. I hope I don't see that person again. She's saying, Oh, you could see this person again. I hope not. I really hope not. She smokes weed too. I'm thinking. No. You know, you shouldn't even be dating people that do stuff like that. I don't, you know. But she doesn't seem like, like when she's on the job, she doesn't, she doesn't look like a chronic smoker, but any chance she get when, when, when it's a break, she'll smoke cigarettes. She'll, she'll smoke. I'm thinking, why do you smoke so much? Why do these people smoke so much? You know? And apparently when she goes home, She's smoking pot or some other thing, whatever that is. Now, those that smoke it all day long and then you got this stuff in a bag in your pocket, like, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Even if it's those little baglets, it doesn't really matter. I used to see a lot of those laying on the ground. I'm thinking, you smoke that much fucking weed. It's like every other, you know, uh square of of cement on on you know on the sidewalk ha like like every other few squares you you find a bag like you just look I'm just sitting there staring at the ground sometimes I will have my head down like I like I could be sullen or something that day and, and then you'll notice shit, shit like that like why am I seeing this all the time and it's not like that stuff smells great you know Yeah, so that's, that's all these people do is smoke weed, man. That's all some of these people do, especially at their job. They smoke weed all the time. No offense. It, now, if now if you do it and, and you're in pain and, and it's like medicine, that's fine. I mean, we understand. That. I mean, honestly, I think you would do better to eat it because it is edible. You know, it's edible. You might as well just eat it. You would do better to just eat it. Smoking, you shouldn't smoke anything because smoke produces soot, if I'm not mistaken, and that's what makes your lungs black. So... If that, if that tidbit of information is wrong, they say, oh, you got that wrong. 
really what they're just doing is, is some, is, is some other thing. I'm thinking, well, in a burning house is soot, right? So isn't that what's going on with your lungs? Unless you're saying I got something wrong out of there, but whatever. All right. You're burning it. You're burning your insides. And then you got this black resin or whatever the fuck that is, 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 is building up in your chest. Is building up in your chest. You got <laughs> black, just black. You're blackening yourself. You're burning yourself from the inside. Okay. So you would do better to just eat it if you need to feel better. I'm thinking how many of these persons that let, oh, but we can't even eat that much, man. Yeah. But you want to go and smoke the, smoke a whole bunch of it. Whatever, dude. I would imagine if you smoking that amount, you should be able to eat that amount. I heard somebody's heart stop back in high school. Somebody's heart stop from eating that, but they said it wasn't weed brownies. Like they put brown weed in the brownies, right? <laughs> no, it was actually um ecstasy that they put in the brownies. That's what heart stopped her heart. I'm thinking, who sold that in the school? Now now the principal was like, oh, you know, people could be allergic to peanuts or any of this other stuff. Now she covered that up to say peanuts. And uh, when, when we knew what the hell it was, it was a particular individual that was selling certain um, brownies with shit in there. The principal was like, oh, you guys are not allowed to sell anything at all because people were making money. So people were already doing the entrepreneurial thing in high school, in high school. Oh, I'm selling brownies for a dollar. I'm doing this for a dollar. I bet you those people... Already, after all that time, if I'm 25, they're 25, unless they're dead. Okay, you they're, they're either 25, 26, or whatever age they are right now, or they're dead, okay? Some of them are probably entrepreneurs right now. Like, they're, they're like, up in the ranks of entrepreneurs. I, I only have, like, some entrepreneurial experience, experience like, you know. Because I haven't done as much as they did, but, you know... They, 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 they gotta be, they gotta have like their own fully established, like high ranking, whatever kind of business. And, you know, I don't know in secret or something, or, or, or maybe they don't, I don't know. I'm thinking if you got a taste of that back in school, there's no way in the world you, you don't, you don't have a taste of that in your adulthood. There's just really no way in the world. You gotta be somewhere. You gotta be somewhere. I mean, they have it. You're, you're sweeter. Wait, my thing is you're either my age or you're dead. That's about it. <laughs> you know, so listen, well, all those people in school, somebody got, got killed and hit by a car last year. Okay. Sure. I got hit by a car last year, but I'm still here. Okay. I'm still alive. Somebody else got hit by a car and died. Okay. <laughs> That's not funny. But the fact that I laugh reminds me of the time we were in 12th grade. Somebody, somebody on the PA system said, you know, one of your classmates died. Everybody, for some reason, I guess because they thought it was, it was like a, um, a comedy show. They all started cracking up <laughs> because something's wrong with this class. <laughs> they all started cracking Why the fuck is that funny? So I can say my car, she was in the hospital. Oh my goodness, dude. What? <laughs> I knew why they were laughing. They were probably, I guess because they watch too many comedies. They laugh at everything. They laugh at everything. I'm thinking, you know, my generation, more and more psychopaths have been produced. I'm, I'm thinking that's what it is. People don't give a shit about each other. I'm thinking that's what it is. More and more psychopaths have been produced in this, in this, in this generation. Because da dads are not in the houses. Moms are not in the houses. What, what else is going on? People are just not there for people. So people have a chance to laugh at each other. Oh, you fell out of a window? Oh, 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 that's funny, dude. I did the same thing last week. You laugh at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh dude my classmates were out were out of this world just something something was just wrong with them but whatever something was wrong with everybody in that school man even the smartest people i'm telling you everything was wrong with them even the smart everybody had a problem something was wrong with everybody man but Anyway, this was just a random vid. You have a wonderful day. All right.